Hello, hello. Welcome to Whip It Thursdays. Running a little solo right now. Everybody's running a little late, but uh, I got plenty to work on. Welcome to uh, customizing with me. <laughs> uh, right now, I got the Space Ghost I'm working on. I'm going to do some work on him tonight. That's the first thing. Get some background music going. Oh, we got Peg Zero Daddy in the house. Welcome. Friend, hopefully the package just got to you the day you get there. Sorry, I have to get out sooner. So, hope you like the, the shirt design, and I threw a little, a little extra in there for you. Got Jeffrey Torres. I'm doing pretty good. How about y'all? Uh, good evening, Sector Two Eight One Three. Evening, fellas. Second, uh, using several pieces off the the retro card Hercules for this, I trimmed down some gauntlets, which skull flies, which perfect for Space Ghost, and I just cut down his belt to be the right diameter, and that's going to work out really good. The width, the, the thickness of the belt looks just right. I just trimmed it down a little shorter. Cut part of the H off. Been a few months haven't uh, worked on customs due to being burnt out on uh, because I was playing games and now I'm back to customizing. Hey, it's it's good to take a break sometimes. One, uh, sometimes you just taking a break from your hobbies, you can come back with get new ideals how to customize, try new stuff. I used to do that a lot when I'm drawing, I would take a break from drawing and come back and uh try out new techniques and do other stuff uh, cool things i never did before but before i do this work on the space ghost i'm gonna put some more silver on the the body of the ghost rider bike on the engine last week uh, sunday i did one side of the engine then we'll do the other side so uh, now it's dried really good Do a little more detail painting. Got my my readers on. Left them up. They were upstairs last time. Couldn't do any detail stuff. Uh, hey, Darth, party on, man! Ah. And uh, let's see. What brush? Uh, Cannons will be here shortly. He's having to wrangle some dogs. His girlfriend's dogs got out. And gotta get those. And Don won't be here. Uh, he's out even with the wife. Hopefully, they have a wonderful evening together. And Hulk Smash has to works later in the evenings during the week now. So, just solo customizing for now. Mitch, I'll get to see a little bit closer up what I'm doing too, this way. So there we go. I haven't heard from Harker. Hope he's doing okay. working on repainting the females on the, on the little arms but figured it out oh good man that's awesome also when you went send calvin the story oh dude uh i forgot about too <laughs> and uh, no rush my friend that's a this the uh, uh so many things piled up right now just trying to get uh, through my stacks and stacks of work in progress figures How in the hell did I get silver paint up on the tail? <laughs> silver paint, when you're working with black, is almost like uh, 
break indices. <laughs> it shows up everywhere. Which I am going to be soon be getting back to work on my street rod. I got a not teen eighty seven old four forty two, but with a five hundred seven big block caddy motor in it, and I got to do some work on there to get her get her road worthy. Uh, redo some of the fuel lines, a little bit of some of the wiring, and uh, may end up changing the oil pan too when I built it. Nobody made aftermarket oil pans, and you had to like find the old beat up pan. And I got one from a uh, sedan Deville with a rear sump for the cross member on the holes, so it covers that. It was pretty beat up. Now there's a company that makes really nice sheet metal oil pans. They're a little pricey, but it's going to add to the cost. I'll have to get an engine hoist and, uh, to lift the engine up enough to clear the cross member to change it out. But that's fine. Not rededicate the second channel, which is just a mirror to this one, to working on the car. Jump Man is picking up for some steam. I see they listed the Wasp for a future release. Yeah, that's, they should have made some kind of announcements like that during PulseCon and stuff, like related characters. To kind of get the hype up, they should have done that a little bit sooner. Uh, you know what they say is a better loan alone than bad company, yeah. Uh, I found a condo for 10 bucks at a swap meet, that's cool, dude. Now you got it for the arm swap, swap on Flint, yeah, those are great arms to put on Flint. I did the same thing, yeah, it's not looking good if he's gonna fund or not. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the video on someone tried to short a Marvel Slick Colossus figure and didn't know how to contact you. He knew you from Google search. Huh. Yeah, I just... I haven't seen that, but that's pretty cool. I did that a long time ago. And that turned out clean and seamless, too. The, the, for a friend over on uh, the Foosh forums. Not hard to track down. He found pictures, so it seems like he should have been able to find my contact information. And you can feel free to share it with him if you want to. There we go. About that. That little bass that hounds a little bit. Was he flash? A little bit faster than those short little legs would suggest. <laughs> yeah. Good news. Get, get, get. Is his name Flash? Uh, no, it's a it's a girl dog, and her name is uh, Charlotte. Ooh. So, how is everybody this evening? Well, it's just me right now, so I'm doing just fine. <laughs> of course, we got the, our wonderful audience watching, too. 
Yeah. So I had to go. Uh, it escaped with its. Uh, it, it's got a black flag or older, older dog. Yeah. And uh, as its buddy, and they were making a run for it, so I had to go over there and put him back in the house. Bad news about the olds. Uh, one of the first things I'm gonna get is buy some uh, wheel dollies. So, uh, I'm gonna clean up my garage out so I can turn my car sideways, give me more room to work. What happened with the olds? Oh, uh, before you come in, I was talking about that. I'm gonna be start working. I uh, should be able to start working on the olds again here soon. My oh, car. That's exciting. And uh, first thing I need to do is get those uh, wheel jacks uh, dollies. That way I can. Mm -hmm move the car around position it in the garage yeah that that's real handy to be able to have that space where you need it yeah right now the, the garage is the depth wise it's like you just got just enough room to walk behind the car and it's at the front front of the garage door so if i it's a three bay garage they're all like that they're short so if i turn the car sideways in the garage gives me tons of room to work on so i'm pull it I'll probably end up pulling the front clip because uh, I'm wanting to change the the, the oil pan. Uh -huh. uh, that's when I bought uh, my ability the car. They didn't make aftermarket oil pans for that motor. It's a 500 caddy board, 30 over. So it's a 507 now. Uh -huh. You'd always try to track down a good used pan. And the one I got is beat up pretty bad. Yeah. And now like, they make good aftermarket hand for them so i have to undo the, undo the motor mounts and some other stuff and lift the motor up with the hoist that is a lot of work i've done that before yep lots of work not that i knew what i was doing very well but i did it <laughs> <laughs> i had a friend who, who actually knew what he was doing <laughs> now the... he helped guide me through the process let me redo some fuel fuel lines and a few other things too. But do some electrical work. That's how you put together a four hundred dollar car. No, well, this one's a little more than four. <laughs> well, you know, when you're when you're a kid, and you just need something to drive to get you from here to there. Well, that is true. You know, four hundred dollar car is hard to beat. Yep, I I was uh, offered my sister my old uh, uh, on my old cars for my nephew, uh -huh. and because it's it was old, it was reliable because I did all the maintenance on it myself. Everything was solid and rock, but it it looked terrible because the clear coat would uh, start peeling off of it. Yeah, in the early nineties, the GM experimented with those water based clears environmentally safe ones and they always peeled yeah i remember uh, and that's what happened with that and but the other one that the car is mechanically fine and it was, and it was like a tank a buick roadmaster 92 mm -hmm. and been a good safe car for first when i'll drive but they didn't want it so i sold it to a friend and he's still driving it You wrecked that one and been no skin off amazing teeth. <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, they called her Christine, too. <laughs> oh, boy. Because <laughs> sometimes her odometer would go backwards. Oh, that's not. <laughs> that's not how that's supposed to work. Yeah, sometimes it'll just all of a sudden just start going backwards. Uh, different areas. Hope Wasp comes with an extra head, head like an unmasked head. Yeah, that would be good. Are they are they putting a wasp out? No, uh, they're doing like the first appearance wasps. Like they're, I think they're getting desperate with Giant Man. They just revealed it. Huh. But it is to help to uh, pick up some traction with like the, the wasp with it. Yeah. I think that some people will be happy with that. 
Here Victorious, yeah, he will already shorten the figure and later on soda because Marvel Legends got to do two pack ones or not. Okay, cool. You know what they should have done? They should have done the uh, 24 inch one and then like a, you know, like a, I don't know, so that it scales down like a 18, 12, 8. Oh, they released the the regular size figure too in his giant man costume, not just the ant man costume. Yeah. Uh, Big Zero Dad says, uh, "Evening, Cannon." Evening. Uh, would Hawkeye body work for Red Hood? Uh, which Hawkeye? You talking about like the MCU one, which I think would work for Red Hood. I think that's a good, good body. Uh, Dar says, "What's up, Cannon?" I hate, I hate little dogs, but I don't wish for any human parents to lose them. <laughs> uh, Bat- Dar- Basset hounds are, I don't know. I think they get a pass. <laughs> uh, In my opinion, Dar- if I remember correctly, Darf's got uh, Roddy's. Rottweilers. Yeah, they're a lot bigger. Yeah, they're sweet as can be too. And protective. All right, let's look at it. I like staffies too. Look at something here. The, the difference is the other Disney Plus series one. Yeah, I think that would be a good, uh, good uh, base for Red Hood. Uh, Pigs are dead. I'll say nothing about little dogs. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> oh, I love all dogs. No matter which what dogs they are, they'll they warm their way in your, into your heart. Yeah, I was trying to find a picture of it that was big enough to actually look at. The Charlotte. No, the um, are, are we talking about the? What are we talking about? Oh, the oh, Hawkeye. Why are these pictures all so garbage? Alpha Proto, uh, notice the 112 check your chin head cast online. He's just for a body. Hmm. It's not super articulated, but but almost like the uh. Like a Stan Lee body or something like that would work for a Jackie Chan. He wears that kind of clothes. Is that what he's talking about? Well, that's Ronan. He, uh, the Ronan would be good Red Hood. But he was talking about the Disney Plus series uh, Hawkeye. From the... All right, let me find uh, a picture of that. Ultron build a figure wave from the Netflix, the Netflix series. The, the purple and black one. Jared, I had uh, Roddy for nine years. Uh, uh, now I have female German Shepherd. Uh, you were, you were close though. Okay. Uh, I could have swore you uh, hit. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, but, the, but they're all sweet. Yeah. Shepherds are so smart too. Um, in my experience, uh, Labradors are not, (laughs) not not saying that every Labrador is not smart, but they're big, goofable, goofy, lovable fur balls. Yeah. Hadn't heard from Harker. I don't know if he's a... Going on right or not. 
I uh, know I've been putting in a lot of hours in lately, trying to get mm. caught up on whatever it is. Yeah, he, he, might, he might be resting. Yeah. And I, he also has some trouble sleeping sometimes. So if he did a bunch of work and now he's crashed, that happens. Yep, yep. Uh, the loose collector news is more exciting to me than anything. They've shown they're going to do like possibly a legendary comic book hero line. Mm -hmm. Their version of it, anyway. The legendary comic book heroes line. So like, uh, Pit there, and uh, Savage Dragon and uh, Super Patriot. Those guys. Uh, is it is Judge Dredd in that line too? Well, it's probably just like uh, independent comic book characters. Mm. So it could be anything. They come out, they show this logo. Iconic Heroes series. And it looks just like the Legendary Comic Book Heroes type logo. And somebody commented like on their Facebook page about that. And they said, uh, uh, they commented like, you yeah, know, that's one of their favorite ones. Favorite lines, like the Humble Heroes. Yep, no, one in purple. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that looks pretty good. And yeah, if you can, depending you can, on which. Sorry, go ahead. I say, depending on which version you're using, that purple uh, chevron in the middle of the chest there almost works out for that stylized kind of bat symbol that he has sometimes. Yeah, you could paint that red and do some, uh, then just paint the black on the arms. You're about good to go with a new hit, a uh, new helmet head. You can get me use a vest off of another, another figure. I'll grab like a jacket off another figure. It's like a vest. Yeah. Uh, these boots. He's kind of got boots like that. For the, on the, that's mm -hmm. that are, like are on their own in figure. Mm -hmm. That might be. Almost like a combination too. It almost worked really good. Yeah. The jacket's a little bit different. Because this one's open in front. But I don't know. Yeah, those boots are similar. Not the same. They have the lines in the front. Yes. I can definitely see them you know, doing like image characters. If that works out well, if that does. Uh, Iconic Heroes line. Yeah. They got to do a PA. They got that. They got that body they could tweak uh, for hide and do make pit out of that. Yeah. That would be, a, that would be a easy. And <clears throat> if they do that, I'll be mad at them for being slow. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do this six months ago? He's sitting over here all torn apart in the middle of trying to get his joints prepped and all that. As I understand, it, that's one of those things that customizers don't do. Yeah, only like a one or two do that apparently. Yeah, everybody <laughs> else just lies about doing it. So I, I, prep, I prep these joints white. You know, see, best way to prep prep them um, start with a white figure. <laughs> Some people uh, started with a yellow figure. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's quite difficult. When I applaud you for that. Now that paint's still sticking, so yeah, I guess it's, possible. It it, it, it's totally possible you did it, and, and they look good. But I'm being lazy. <laughs> you know, you're being smart. Uh, mine's gonna take a chip, and I'm gonna have to repaint the whole thing. And there are some areas that I'm not happy with underneath, like the arms and stuff, and around mm -hmm. the shoulders, because those shoulders on that uh, Centurion figure, yeah, uh, they rub a little bit. So I didn't get enough clearance on them or something. Getting all the 
where I've been working on this. I've gotten the, the body dirty and using the winter newton to clean it up. Got Oh, man. The 96 of these hair strands, and some of them are duplicated. <laughs> I've got more i got to put in there to make it look right. Uh, you know, got the Hawkeye for five dollars of swap meat. He was incomplete, so I was planning on using the torpedo to ar arms and legs, or he was because he uses tor torpedo parts. That's cool. Who uses torpedo parts? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Last thing I knew, we were talking about Hawkeye, and then I think yep. I took a, took a nap. I don't think uh, I don't think they cross over, but they look similar but with GI Joe parts. He was built like a GI Joe. He's got the separate neck piece. That Hawkeye. Yeah. Yeah. So he's got the ball joint at the base of the neck, and he's got a, a ball joint up top too. Oh man, I haven't heard the word swap meat since I was a kid. Is that something that happens regularly, or is that like a specific? low like local yeah. some places uh, if you got a big community they do the toy swaps and stuff like that yeah. I don't know if it's a full on uh, swap to meet or a toy swap but uh, Jeffrey went to the name of Hill Cannon that Cobra headed sculpt is looking, looking good I'll get it there eventually but he's got a lot of hair Like I said, I'm at, well, some of these, anything that has a blue wrench on it. I don't know if you guys can see my cursor up here. My screen's kind of small, but. Oh, let me put the screen bigger. There you go. Anything that has a blue wrench on it means that it's been um, mirrored. And so that is actually two strands of hair on the, well, <laughs> you can't see it because I'm off the page. Here. Nope, it won't do it. Maybe I can drag this over. All right, so anything with a blue wrench on it actually means that it's been mirrored. So that that, that actually counts for two, but I'm up to 97 with a whole bunch of them duplicated for mirroring on the other side. Cool, cool. Mm -hmm. But it looked good when I get it done. Then if I ever need like crazy big, uh, you know, late 70s, early 80s mullet hair or something, I will just steal it. You have it already, already in your archive. In my toolbox. Library toolbox. Arsenal. Yeah, yeah. Let's do Is that, that. It's a box of cannons. Yes, it's an arsenal. Yeah. That works best. There we go. We got them all cleaned up. He was getting a little grungy looking. He was a dirty space ghost. He was a dirty boy. Dirty, dirty boy. No oh boy. <laughs> Thought this was a family show. It was. It was just dirty. <laughs> oh, uh, Brian Deal. We'll swap it. Retro con. Oh yeah, they do figure swaps at uh, Retro con. Yeah, me and Brian went to one. Uh, was it last year, Brian? We went to it, or the year before? Yeah, well, your last time we went, uh, the last time we went, uh, met Pixel, Pixel Band down there, super nice dude. And uh, he did like a little bumper video for the channel. Yeah, I saw that um, video you posted on uh, the Discord. That was really cool. 
I like Pixel Dan. I yeah, I haven't met him, but I've enjoyed his content on YouTube. Yeah, he's genuinely a positive person. That season, really good. He makes good t- content. Yeah, I struggle with that sometimes, trying to be stay positive. But you know, oh, it was both years we went. <laughs> Yeah, we did go two years. Uh, Jeffrey says the one I go to, they have swap meet. They were set Saturday and Sunday. That's cool. And uh, had to touch up. Uh, had to mix up some paint to touch up his beanie. Beanie Pink. on low light. Oh, on low light. I was like, I thought you were still working on Space Ghost. I was like, Space Ghost doesn't have a beanie. <laughs> you, can see, not, uh, you can see flesh tone coming through. the, the be- uh, There's like a scratch on the front of the beanie. No, oh, no. So I mixed up a little bit of... What is it? Mr. Color 301 gray. Mr. Color 33 black. And... To me, an X4 blue. I got a pretty good match with it. Got a, it's a real dark bluish gray. Yeah, I couldn't tell where you touched it up. It looked like it was the same color as the rest of the hat. So you must have color mixed that pretty good. This Harker says going to be about an hour late. Okay. Yeah, I'm... Oh, that's what I was meaning to, uh, meaning to ask you about. This thing here I sent you, a picture of? This demon, this demon creature? Let me bring it up so I can see it. You want to pull it up on the live stream so everybody can see it? Oh, yeah. That probably be good. Hey. Nope. Well, the Space Ghost reminds me of the comic that DC did about five years ago. Let me check it out. Let me give you a little layout. Find here. my figs. Yep. Now, I was going to ask you about. Uh, with the textures on that body, you think you'd be able to replicate the textures on that? Um, like on the face, on the, the yeah, just a little like skin bumps and lines. Because the the body itself is a hundred percent room for an ultraverse. All all it needs a head and feet. Is that who? Room, the vampire. I don't remember him. He got the Infinity Stones at one time. Did he? Mm-hmm. I had no idea. Maybe some hands and feet. Or uh, are, are they regular hands? Five, uh, four fingers and a thumb. There yep. are four fingers and a thumb. All so, crusty. Really, I could get by with that. The body, the color is exactly the same. The wings are the same. All he would need is a head and feet, and I can just do that, paint those just, up, and... Sorry, I'm trying to look at his feet. Do they have a picture of his feet? Uh, there they yeah. are. They're bird he's got, feet. He's got bird feet. We got that poor actress's feet that Parker always yeah, picks up. We got Brie Larson feet. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Uh, yeah, this would like. Um, as as was like crap! All I need was a head and feet, and I'm, I got room. <laughs> yeah, let me try something real quick. Save this. 
gotta think about. All right, so what I need is a, I need a texture for like, with like leather. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking for a image with a Creative Commons license. Yeah, you and I went there. You got the uh, then T uh, went next. Yep, yep. All three of us went that last time. That was a good, a good trip. The first time we went to, well, both of them were good. Like the second time, we got the meat sort of slaughter and you signed your uh, uh, SDC exclusive tail slaughter figure. That was in Jajo slaughter color scheme. And the rock and roll head worked for Aquaman head. I can see that short haired Aquaman with beard. Yeah. Might be a little small on a bit on the body. Rock and does rock and roll have a beard? Yeah. Oh, I'm getting him confused with Bazooka. Bazooka just has a mustache. Right? Or yep. am I okay. <laughs> Been a long time since I watched some G.I. Joe. Uh, Peggy Zero, that's what we're talking about. But it's not the. It was light black, bluish gray instead of grayish, bluish gray. <laughs> light black and bluish gray. Oh, do I already have a leather texture? Mm -hmm. All right, well, this is going to be a leather texture too. Oh, have a good one, uh, Jeffrey. All right, and this is from what website is this? Now I can give attribution. This is Creative Commons. You got to do that. This is raw pixel. Where I'm getting this from. I think that's how that's done in it. All right, I gotta modify it. We got into you know, watching the Strongman uh, channels again. The uh, been watching Brian Shaw and Eddie Hall and those guys. Mm -hmm. They were doing like a reaction video. This one dude said grip strength and and somebody all his viewers bet the guy like about give him a, like money if he can bend rebar. And he did it pretty easily and I didn't think rebar was hard to bend. Uh not really. I mean depending on the thickness. Yeah. I don't know. It looked like the same thickness I had out in the garage, and I went out and got one today, four foot rebar, bent it in the U. It was like, it's supposed to be hard. <laughs> well, I mean, bent it just like you did. I don't want to flip the whole thing, does I? <laughs> uh, <laughs> name of Phil, do you know if the Metroverse Battle Cat can be taken apart? I have no idea. What, mine's still in the box. What is he asking? The Metroverse Battle Cat, if he can take it apart. The, um, the the seven inch scale one. 
I see people do take I, the heads off. I, I think it can be, but don't quote me on that. It's on my shelf in the other room. Uh, I think it can be. Well, <laughs> everything can be taken apart if you try hard enough. Well, <laughs> the yeah. question is, can you put it back together? <laughs> I can take anything apart. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't mean it's coming supposed to come apart that way. <laughs> this is true. That's what I'm when I work with my my figures. Or even like I collect masterpiece transformers, and I have to be super gentle with those things. Just the anytime they start to feel like something like don't want to move somewhat some way. I don't know if it's just stiff or I can make it move <laughs> but I don't want to yeah <laughs> uh, is this where it stops or do I snap it <laughs> yeah I don't want to snap it Uh, Master Verse Battle Cat needs a new, a new head. I've seen a few people uh, make heads for that thing, and it, it definitely. I don't know what the hell they were thinking. They they made the unmasked head look like Cringer on a Battle Cat body. It looks weird. Probably trying to take shortcuts. Yeah. Yeah, it's very bad. Anyone else wants to get another another one to paint it up? The, I mean, other than other than the head being weird, it's not it's not a bad figure. I like it. Yeah, if you leave the helmet on, it's fine. You don't notice yeah. the weird head. The, but the super ranger head. Yep. Looking at my space go so far. Yeah, that's looking good. Queen what did you do for the neck piece? I don't think I was sure when you did that. Oh, um, I did my styrene thing where I put the styrene in a triangle sh shape. Uh, on the black side, parts and just painted. Then I put another piece of styrene across. Then I filled it in with some epoxy sculpt and I widened the neck. So the neck, oh. when the head goes on, it's more like space ghosty. Yeah. Space ghosty. <laughs> I mean, he's got he's got that kind of you know neck shoulder head thing going on. Yeah, the the cowl goes straight into the neck neck on the actual way the drawings are. Like the Keaton Batman first movie where he can't move it, turn his head. Yeah, he got to turn his shoulders to look left and right. That would be a very tactically uh, tactical disadvantage when you're fighting. Oh yeah. You know, I used to work with Photoshop all the time, mm -hmm. but I have just not used what, it in so long. What you trying to do? Part of the problem is that my stuff keeps flying off the screen. I just need to change it to a grayscale, but the other thing is, is that Go up, I uh... up the image, I flipped the whole thing, not just the on just the uh... you can go up and be saturated there you go you got it uh, but it... I mean I use Photoshop almost on a daily basis well when I uh, did more 2D stuff. I use it all the time, but now that I'm doing more 3D stuff, it, yeah. my job is uh... not. Uh... Yeah, 
Well, and it's it's been updated like four or five times since I used it last. So, yeah, they like to change it. Oh, the one thing I always do when the, the, I have to reformat my computer upstairs, I want to go back and go and uh, your preferences preferences us and change the zoom function, the scaling function to legacy because they changed it where you used to hold shift to keep your aspect ratio correctly. Now uh-huh. if you hit shift, it's a free transform. They reverse the controls. <laughs> and it bugs the shit out of me. So always at least they put a legacy button in now where you can actually go back and flip it back the way it was. Yeah. Oh, did you see the one well, I talked about too on like a on the Discord? It was funny that the the snowflakes got mad. I honestly, I <laughs> I haven't seen it. I've been <laughs> I'm always crazy busy. Yeah. Well, uh, I'll check it out. Apparently, some snowflakes got mad at Matt. And where I'm friends with Matt, uh, those snowflakes uh, are part of that group, and they banned me from the group because I'm friends with Matt. Really? Yeah. On Facebook. All the ones that, and they're ones that act like internet tough guys. <laughs> Too cowardly to say anything. Well, and also here's here's the problem with that kind of mentality is that let's let's say that you firmly believe that somebody's way of thinking is incorrect. Yeah. Well, this is, this is all about toys too. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, it could be about anything. Let's say yeah. that you, you firmly believe that somebody's way of thinking is incorrect. Okay. So, if your response to um, somebody's way of thinking being incorrect is to shut them down and kick them out then if it's actually a serious like ideological difference uh then you will you will never overcome that you know way of thinking and so it'll just perpetuate you know but also now you've you've taken that way of thinking and you have you know cast it out so it does a couple things number one it says you're not allowed to talk about it and so people with that kind of ideology will hide it yeah and number two is that you can't ever have a discussion with those people ever again and try to help them see things differently or or, you know see things the way that you see it or explain why you know it's not correct I mean, most of the time people won't listen anyway, but yeah. you should give them the opportunity. No, I was uh, like Sweden. I was neutral on the fact. <laughs> I think it's just hilarious. Can they, I got just... mad at, they got mad at him just because he told people to quit uh, about being ridiculous about toys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Have fun. Collect. He was talking about like shields versus shields. And, uh, toy groups are feuding right now. <laughs> really? Yeah. Then one of, the, one of the toy groups got mad at him because he didn't even name names and they like assumed it was what's one dude. So they all kept like, oh, quit talking about him. Then that dude like even come in and was like, you're talking about me. It's like, oh, I was just talking about bad behavior. If you thought it was you, that's, that's on you. <laughs> Maybe maybe you are demonstrating some poor behaviors. Yeah. Alpha Proto said, uh, being friends with some people comes cost. It's like, hey, if it's uh, not having to deal with the douchebags, that's a good cost for me. <laughs> uh, what are you guys working on? I was working on my Space Ghost earlier and another Ghost Rider bike. Right now I'm working on another one of my original, uh, like a like a 2.0 of my original character Lord. Just doing a little bit of sanding work after the 
first coat of double coat the paint. There's a couple of little spots were rough. We're gonna see how this will work. What's funny is like uh, in that group too, they were talk, uh, joking about like assaulting Matt. That's not cool. And then calling people that uh, crazy on the internet. Like, you just talked about assaulting somebody. And yeah. you're calling other people crazy? Right. Uh -huh. You know, in the real world, you tried that shit, people could hit back. Yeah, well. Let's call that F around and find out. Every time I do this, I always forget like how to, to do the texture brushes. That's not what I want. Oh, they confirmed uh, the Ninja Turtle He-Man crossover line. I saw pictures of that, and some of them I thought, hey, that looks cool. Yeah, I dig the turtle ones. I liked the man at arm one. It looked good. Yeah, the man at arm looked really good too. And I didn't even notice his shield was a turtle shell at first too, and his hammer was as well. Yeah. Uh... Oh, look, guys. I love it this close. I just wanted to say, I'm here for like a few seconds, and I'm gone. I'm sick of the dog. Nope. I just wanted to say, I just wanted to say, hey guys. It's it's going around. Is it? Do you, does anybody know what it is? Yeah. Every it's everything. It's like my boss, my boss is sick. The wife's been sick. The baby's been sick. Now nah, I'm sick. It's like my sinuses. I got a goddamn ear infection. As long as you don't give us a computer virus. I know. Uh, we, we can do that. You're gonna be. You're gonna be. Cough pooping. You see what he's doing? Oh no 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 that no that no that. Where you where you cough and poop your pants at the same time. Oh, also want to drop some uh, info. Uh, Ross has picked up Tomax Saymot. They've yeah, got. I saw, yeah, I saw Ross is picking those, uh, getting those. I'm looking. For, are, I'm looking for a Cosmos. Cosmos has been shooting with Ross. Uh, I'll check. I wish you had told me that earlier because I was in a different Ross this morning. You can actually curl it. I really wish you had told me that earlier. I know you can hear the little guy. Look at look at brother. Look at his face. He's talking to his brother about needing some mustache wax. What are you making, Jared? Uh, another version of my character lore. Okay, oh, okay. cool. That's awesome. This one's the, the all the red area is gonna be it's sculpted. Oh. Raised up. Oh. Okay. And I shortened the neck. Uh, okay, looks good. Warpath's got that really tall neck to, cover, uh, to go above those uh the shoulders, the shoulder yeah. pieces. And so it looks weird if you don't have the shoulder pieces. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So I lowered it down. So. Uh, another thing my Ross has, I don't know if y'all have got, is the blur. Uh, it's got some of Bruticus, not Bruticus, but uh, the Combaticon, the Stunicons. The G2 Stunicons. What was it, Drag Strip was the real one, I think? That's cool. Yeah, well, um... Some of the re-release Beast War stuff. I picked up um, the Megatron at Ross the other day. The, the, the re-release. Oh, I need to see if the guy... I need to see if mine's got him. It's cheaper than... At Ollie's, he's uh, 15 bucks. At Ross, he's 13 bucks. Well, my Ollie's got the King Star screen, not the Megatron. Um, my Ollie's had both Megatron, Optimus Primal, and they had one Scorponok. I grabbed Scorponok. Like, I need those guys. Okay. 
they had the the hand ninjas. Yeah. So I grabbed a couple more of those. Yeah, somebody already got all my hand ninjas, man. And uh, no Sergeant Slaughters yet. Uh, some some uh, Ollies are getting Sergeant Slaughters. And I've seen Slaughters. I've seen Slaughters. I've seen a crap ton of Slaughters. I have. didn't know. I guess what is it good for the body? I don't think. Uh, if you see any more Slaughters, I'll send you some money. PayPal you some money to pick me some up. Okay, how many you need? Um, I'll be going up there. I got to get some more stuff uh, later on next week. How many you need? If he's still there, uh, give me a uh, oh, yeah. was he? Where was he at? Three. Hmm? Uh, let's see. Let's say four. Give me four. Okay. G.I. Joe Sergeant Slaughter. What? G.I. Joe Sergeant Slaughter. Yeah. What you need one, too, Ken? How much are they? Like six bucks? Seven bucks? That's not bad. No. Uh, like I said, we we had a bunch of them. I just like I didn't know nobody wanted them. No, I don't. Uh, I don't yeah. have any shelf space. He's a great figure. I'll pick you up one anyway, man. If I see it, if I see it, I'll just grab an extra one for Kenny. I found. Now here's the crazy part. I was at my Walmart. Tell me why we got Crimson Guards at Walmart at full price. Oh, I did get something that's uh, hard to get at Walmart the other day. Which one? I got the Mr. T figure on the new, new wrestling figures. It's on the um, yeah with the soft goods cloth uh, suit and the overalls and his uh, red shirt. Uh, you know. Oh, awesome! Yeah, he he was the only one they had. It's like I was looked up like had a bunch of rocks and a couple other characters and like one Mr. T is like mine. I ain't found the rock yet. They had like a but, roll. Okay. Have you been checking targets lately, man? Because like mine is like white. They are not putting anything out in the in the toys. Carrying Marvel Legends. Yours doesn't carry them anymore. Nope. Mine carries them, but somebody's been buying them up, man. Like I go, I go to my Target and like there is no Marvel Legends. Like that whole that whole shelf is just empty. The, they have like the banner that says Marvel Legends, but you look at the tags, it's all Jai Joe. <laughs> Well, no, we don't even have any GI Joes. The only thing we had is like, oh, they don't have GI Joe, but tags are GI Joe. Yes, dear. Lord, I'm sure y'all can hear all this mess on the stream. As the need, but it doesn't seem to. Be <laughs> oh, Cannon. Hmm? I was informed to tell you whenever you have free time. No. I need you to sculpt my face. All right, free time. That's why I did it. Oh, God. Hey, let me get off here, guys. Have a good one. All right. Better. Thank you. Have a good night. Free time? What's that? I don't know. This is actually this is my free time for the week. Um, Sector 2813, can you throw a picture of the Transformer you're looking for? Uh, uh, yeah, it's the green flying saucer. It was a Walmart exclusive when it came out, and scalpers would snatch them up. And I'll brag about it. Like we're showing like the walls of them. Not behaving in the way that it should behave. There is the co uh, cosmos figure. It's way looks in the box. That is what I'm looking for. It doesn't seem to be, but it doesn't seem to be doing the Dyna topology like it's supposed to be doing. It's like, it's like a crystalline look. <laughs> well. When you have this option switched on, it's supposed to adjust the topology based on your level of zoom. Mm -hmm. So when I zoom in like this, see the polygons are supposed to be separating so that the level of detail changes. But it's keeping the polygons the same size. I don't understand why it's not 
6303, it's, it's not at Walmart anymore. They're showing up at Ross stores now. The third, uh, uh, one thing that drives me crazy about Walmart, they let third party vendors sell on their website and they got that Cosmos listed for over $100 on the, their website by a third party seller. I don't like it when things don't behave the way that they should. All right, that subdivision's working. Okay, now it seems to be working. Should be about time for Parker. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow night on the Quick Refusion, we're going to we're going to open up the uh, Origin Snake Mountain. Yeah, it's uh, it looks good on the uh, advertisements. Yeah, it a lot more, looks like there's a lot more detail from the original Snake Mountain. The snake actually look, looks like a snake. <laughs> That's some kind of crazy wolf-looking thing. Yeah. I'm still calling shenanigans on like they did like the fan vote for what the, the next uh, uh, crowdfunding project's going to be. If it was a Serpent's Lair or something like that. One. Never even I'm calling, Serpent's Lair. Yeah, that's why I'm calling like shenanigans. Everybody want a uh, attack track. Attack track was leading for a long time in the polls. And then they were like, mm, no. Like, well, everybody wants the, the play set, not the attack track. No, I want the freaking attack track. We never had the attack track. A, comp, a cartoon style attack track. That's what they were showing. Big boxy uh, tank. Nice. What we want. I don't want a serpent slayer. might be that you know they were like well let's let the, the, the you know customers decide and then castle gray skull and snake mountain sold so well that they're like well let's let's not let the customers decide because they wanted these things let's see if we can give them more of the same have a good night gary the uh, pigs are real dead yeah good night gary <clears throat> guy's a nice guy yeah he is He's super nice. I think that he's gotten so good at customizing too. It's like, it, yeah, I'm, all the stuff he posts on Instagram is like it's progressively yeah, getting better and better. And he's he's great now. It was really, really cool to see the progression of. What he started doing, the what he's doing now. Hmm. 
trying to decide whether better positive or negative. Snake Palace, that's it, not Snake Palace. I got it wrong, but still, I don't know that one. I want the attack track. I don't know the Snake Palace either. Where, what is? Does anybody know what that's? I know Snake Mountain, but I don't know anything about Snake Palace. I, want a, I would prefer a Popper's Pit over than uh, Snake Palace. <laughs> with a Roddy Piper. I don't it was Snake Mountain or Snake Palace ever in the cartoon? Uh, I, I can't remember. Or is that a more specific area of that's supposed to be on Snake Mountain? No clue. I think a, I think a, they probably just didn't want to do another vehicle because the vehicles usually end up like going on clearance. So you can get most of your vehicles at Ollie's. <laughs> I did. Uh, I think it has to be a minus brush, otherwise the lines that are supposed to be creases and stuff uh, on the smooth. Has to be a plus brush, otherwise the lines that are supposed to be creases and the skin stick up. Oh, hey, AK. AK is uh, here. Uh, it has a sarcophagus. Yeah, I can get the sarcophagus for, for Snake Man. Kind of cool. Yeah, it's. Uh, Still would prefer the uh, attack track. He said it's from the mini comics. Hmm. Snake Palace. Gotcha, that's why I didn't know it. It should come with some uh, coconuts and a super fly figure. <laughs> Piper's uh, pit. <laughs> there you go. I think that looks pretty good. What do you think? Yeah. Very good for that texture. Mm -hmm. I might have to look at. I might look at it some more for um, yeah, later to see if there's something that's more. Close. Later on, I'll find, I'll find you good like a reference of room here. Uh, matching the texture exactly is going to be. Uh, oh, as long as it's got a to it's not smooth. It, it, it's it's if it's just a texture, which a will make it uh, blend together just a smooth face just wouldn't work on with that body no now let's try to find a good reference for rune because there's different looks when he's when he's starving he's like balding and uh <laughs> then he's got <laughs> he's looking rough huh they're, they're different when they first introduced him he was like a starving uh starving hadn't fed in like a long time and real decrepit looking oh ruins the bad guy yeah okay i remember i remember him now they had that amulet thing yep it. yeah i remember now when he got a taste for ultras he he liked those a lot more than feeding off humans they were tasty they restored his energy better too It's not on the Ultraverse group on Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the admins, uh, he asked me if he could use some of my pictures of my customs. For, they're doing like a little little uh, thing that come promoting things, uh, digital badges, mm -hmm. and they're temporary. And he asked if he can use some of my customs for those. And I said, absolutely. Badges. Already... We need some stinking badges. Got the he's already done the prime one of the primes already and he's gonna do hard case and sludge next 
That'd be cool. There's the Mr. T I got the other day. The superstars. They're on the Moti uh, Origin style bodies, but the the Mr. T's cool. It's got all soft goods outfit over top of top of it. Oh yeah, that looks cool. There's the Prime in it uh, badge. You do like they had enough people showing like uh, do like a selfie of your co uh, prime comic to be like a steel series special which i got the rare hollow foil nice. every, every variant of prime number one i don't know if i mentioned it. i like prime you know i don't um uh, i've watched the show a lot and I don't think that I ever heard you say that before. Like, hmm. ever. Just like, I don't think I ever told you that I like Pit. Oh, we, you do? Oh, yeah. Cool. I, you know, I don't like to talk about it too much. I could, you know, the, the Undertaker from uh, WWE crossover line. Yeah, it's awesome. It's glow in the dark. It's got armor for it, and I don't use the armor because it's glow in the dark. The, the armor covers it up, <laughs> and he's painted up like a, a skeleton motif too. He's like, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not putting that. So I end up using the armor to make a custom. What's, what's Don up to tonight? Don is out with the wife. They're having in and out tonight. Oh, that's always that's very important. So I took a Count Marzo, a WWE Undertaker head, and, a, and the armor piece that comes with uh, the Masterverse one, and this is a cape that Don made for me. That looks like um, that looks good. The armor is actually a Triclops armor, plastic uh, armor, and it's just black. That's one thing I like about the Masters WWE figures. They actually use classics parts for the armors and stuff with it. Uh, yeah, buried the uh, Super 7 Hell, uh, Hell Carrier. Price is insane, but uh, not unexpected. They're doing a helicarrier. Is it, you mean the the Cobra mothership? Is that what you're talking about? The coot? You know? Yeah, five hundred dollars for for that. Plus taxes and shipping. I'm not. I don't have uh, much uh, three and three quarter inch, but somebody heard somebody's talking about they're they're going to let the Super Seven start doing O ring figures. Like the really old school O-ring figures? Yeah, like the vintage G.I. Joe. So those reaction figures they make, they're three and three quarter inch size, but they're only five PO figures. So I, I think they're stupid. But if they do O-ring ones, that would be really cool. Uh, AK said, yeah, that's the, the Cobra Bug ship. It's like 500 bucks. It's crazy expensive. It's the same price as the Ghost, and the Ghost was a lot bigger toy. Uh, Hasbro's Ghost, or Hasbro's a bigger company, and they they required more more um, fun backers to have it made. They cut down the cost on it. Uh, Super Seven is doing uh, are doing O ring figures. That oh cool. Name will help confirm that. Let's see what is the not made that right now. It's at six thousand four hundred eighty-one backers. 
begins in four days. That's the uh, giant man. Yeah, they need ten thousand for its fun. That's at six thousand. Six sixty four hundred. Yeah, that's a lot to get in four days. Yeah, I haven't backed it, but it looks nice. It's good price. I just, yeah. <laughs> I don't like. I know it's nowhere near as big. I got the Toy Biz one, and I'm content with it. If I buy that one, I got like build a whole new display set up for it. So, three feet tall. <laughs> yeah, that's you can have to take out a shelf. Yeah. So with the Toy Biz one, I can just have them like crouch down a bit, and he fits on a regular shelf. But if your shelves are only like 13 inch clearance, I think that's about what mine are. Just a little over a foot. Yeah, that's what I got over here. And and it fits fine. Just have them kind of milt down like he's going to run into the shelf. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Win Comics is here. Uh, uh, greetings, my friend. How are you doing tonight? And what y'all working on? I am working on one of my original characters, uh, Ghost Rider bike, uh, Space Ghost, which I'll be working on another one here soon. Uh, my queen's going to send me his zero to do the same thing for his. Uh, Nemo Hill said, I think they're going to do a five pack of O Ring Troopers. Well, that'd be cool. And, but uh, Darren that was on uh, Collector Fusion a few weeks ago, and he's got those O Ring Ninja figures coming out. Two O Ring figures would come with a mothership. That's good. So it makes more sense to have O Ring figures more. Um, the Super 7 figures right now, the reactions don't even have knees. They just go forward or five point five POAs. So it's yeah. GI Joes were were they ever? They were never like that, were they? Uh, the five points. Yeah. Uh, U.S. figures, no. European Action Force line figures, they did have some five POAs. Let's well, say I. I can only remember them having the uh, O rings. Yeah, O rings. Here in the U.S., we never had five POA GI Joes, but overseas, the Action Force line, when what they called it overseas, did have five POAs. That's what made them so cool when when we were kids was that they had like some good articulation you could get them into poses more so than like the Star Wars figures yeah or the He-Man figures or the Ninja Turtle figures <laughs> well, <laughs> pretty much everything anything. else yeah Joe had elbows and knees yeah Didn't they also have a bicep swivel? Uh, yeah. I will either that or a elbow swivel. I, have to, I can't remember. I got one over on the shelf. I, I think it, it was like... It might have been a bicep swivel. Was it in the top part of the arm? It was in the top part of the arm. I think it was like above the elbow joint, but not all the way up at the shoulder. Could have been. It's been so long. Longer. I guess... I got sort of slaughter on the shelf over there where it's one sitting in a triple T. I wish I got it the retro toy con that went with my friend Ryan and his wife. Got a good deal on it. I think I only paid like 30 bucks for it. I mean, it had everything. The only thing that was missing was his uh, swagger stick, which is always missing. Swagger stick. <laughs> Just thumb and stick. 
did you pick up the new Transformers number one? Uh, I picked up uh, two of the variant covers to hang on to uh, the wall. Tappy Tappy Man got the nice Transformer poster. Posters. Yeah, I, I, he pulled pulled it for me. I haven't picked it up yet. I need to go get hit my number one. He just got two copies of it, which that book ended up being pretty hot. Going out everywhere. I'm gonna see if I can get my hands on um, that Space Ghost kind of origin story they co- put out a couple of years back. Yeah. Um, that'd be interesting to check out. Yeah, I'd like to read it. I don't need like a copy of it to keep. But I'd like to just know the know the story. I could probably look it up. I bet somebody like Quinn said uh, Quinn said Transformers number one sold out twice at his shop. Wow. The Focus. Working on the base coat, skin tone base coat. So that hit, base coat's good. You, you gave me. Yeah. Base coat. My phone don't have a juice left in it. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. Look up this picture real quick before my phone dies. I can bring one up if you just need to look at it for a second. Yeah, I got it. I need to paint the triangle red. For some reason, my brain was saying it needs to be yellow. Yeah, I know. When I painted mine I was like this needs to be yellow right (laughs) it is not yellow I think my chat like I think like my playthrough of the uh, comments is behind like my whole playthrough, my whole video, for some reason, hmm. behind. Because I'm just now getting the uh, Collector Express. I have Transformers number one, second printing coming in November 1st. Yeah, I just saw that too. So. I think it's about the same. Uh, could you know, uh, it's not disappointing. You don't know, mention two issues of Transformers. Yeah, and I got, I got one of them. Here's where here's where this hair uh, gets difficult. So, um, why did you say he was putting this on? Is he putting this on a Vulcan body? Yeah, I think so. I have to kind of guess where that neck is going to be because I can't make any of the hair go through the neck. Ah. Okay, right now. For whatever mm-hmm. reason, he looks like that angry cook guy. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay is Cobra. Yeah, doesn't it? Like a cartoon version of Gordon Ramsay. You said that it's like holy shit! It is a Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> oh no, I'm never gonna be able to unsee that. It's angry Gordon Ramsay space adventure. It's a secret identity. He's going to call me a Muppet and put me between two slices of bread. Tell me I'm an idiot sandwich.
being Gordon Ramsay. I, I like it when he, they had him like competing against his mom on a cook-off. Oh, yeah. I didn't see that. There's a clip on it in the show. Like I haven't seen the whole thing. And he pulls out, she pulls out her dish and his dish, and he's like, "Well, well I look at it. It's, not, it's I'm not blown away." Then she looks at his. Hers is not done in the middle. He's like, "What?" Oh, he's like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> Go throw it back in the oven. Whoops. Liked it when he did a cook-off against the Swedish chef. Oh, he did? <laughs> Some kind of Muppets <laughs> thing. Oh. Swedish chef was my favorite Muppet. He always cracked me up. I like him and Sweetums. That's the kind of hippie lady in the band? No. The Who's giant Sweetums? monster. Oh, the really big hairy guy? Yep. His name's Sweetums. I didn't know that. What's the hippie lady in the band's name? Uh, no clue. I liked Animal, too. Well, yeah, I mean, we didn't like Animal. It's just like everybody kind of likes the Tasmanian Devil. Yep. I don't know why. They're, that is just appealing for little kids. Like Cookie Monster or Oscar the Grouch. Uh, Quinn Comics says... Uh, Janice is the, the lady in the band. Yep. Adding that red to the chest really makes it look like space goes now. Yeah. Yeah, so the go be in his new profession is going to find out that he is sick a lot. Yeah, when my, my nephews were little, when they were in daycare a lot, every time they'd come visit, I'd be sick for a few days afterwards. Yeah. Dennis is part of the Dr. Feast and Electric Mayhem Band. See, I don't need to remember things anymore when Quinn's here. The Dr. What? And the Electric Mayhem? Uh, Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem Band. Is that, that guy's name is Dr. Teeth? Yep. <laughs> I love that. I don't think I ever knew that. I think I did, and I forgot. As soon as he said that, it's like, oh, yeah. I don't need to remember anything as long as Quinn's around. <laughs> well, I remember it now. I mean, it just makes sense if you look at him. Yeah, he's got some big ass teeth. He has a big old teeth. I think it's looking like Space Ghost. It's supposed to be Cobra Space Adventure. Oh, and the mine's the wrong color. It should be red. <laughs> it's angry, angry chef. Space adventure. Quinn uh, says he's full of useless information. It's not useless. It's handy to us. I mean, you know, go on. Who wants to be a millionaire? And that's not useless. Yeah. Is that show even on anymore? I kind of don't no think I really don't watch TV. And I hardly uh, ever have time to watch any like streaming stuff either. I always thought it's funny too. Like it's a comparison. Like uh, when Wheel and For Fortune and Jeopardy were airing uh, one after the other. One show is got for basically idiots. And the other one's for like really smart people. <laughs> I watched this one lady. She... Almost everything was spelled out for her. It was like Dennis the Elm. And she went, Oh yes, man. Dennis the Monkey. Didn't know who Dennis the Menace was, huh? Yep.
Yeah. Uh, I was talking about, I was watching uh, Strongman shows here recently. recently and uh-huh. Brian Shaw is a big dude. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the, the picture you see him like a uh, give them a, like, the medal out to Mr. Olympia and they look like little kids next to him. Yeah. Yeah. They're all jack and big and you look at them, like, like just see looking pictures of them, it's like, oh those are big guys and Brian Shaw comes out. They look like the lollipop kill. <laughs> Yeah, well, when he's almost, he's like six foot eight. He's under, he's under uh, seven foot. But once you get past six foot four, there's not a whole lot of people that are going to be. I mean, even as once you hit six foot two, there are not a whole lot of people <laughs> that are going to be taller than you. Yeah, but I'm six two. Yeah, Maybe you don't see many people taller than you. There's a few people at work. I am surprised when I do see it. It's like, huh. I don't see that often. <laughs> uh, Click Express, Gordon Ramsay is back with uh, Kitchen Nightmares on Fox. I'm so happy they brought that show back. I tell my wife that they should uh, do before that he says, said, I'm usually right. <laughs> My cousin was watching uh, cooking shows and cooking competition stuff. Let's see. I had completely blanked out. The, uh, uh, I was talking. Gary asked me like when I was so I'm, like tracking information. I said I'm like, mm-hmm. his shirt, and uh, he asked me like, "Did you ever finish the Havoc figure and the Age of Apocalypse Colossus?" I was like, "Thank you. I've been trying to figure out what I did with the other." Uh, astonishing Cyclops body. I could not remember my mind so bad lately. <laughs> yeah. I for completely forgot I used it for the Age Apocalypse Colossus. I was like, I know I did something with that. What do I do with it? <laughs> Collector Express, uh, 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 I comments say Collector Express. I'm six foot one and down uh, South Texas. I'm a giant compared to pretty much everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. Man, matter the giants down there. <laughs> well, I mean, think about it this way: um, something like, let me, I'll just look it up. What percentage of the population are taller than six foot two? So I'm from Buckingham County, Virginia, and there's a lot of big people there. Let's see. This depends on where you live in the world, of course, because you know that makes sense. Uh, only 14.5% of men in the U.S. are over 6 foot tall. Uh, 3.9% are 6 foot 2 or taller. Uh, research they need, to, says they that. need to go to Grundy and that can change their statistics a little bit. There's a lot of tall people there. Yeah, so, you know. <laughs> 6 foot tall seems to be like that uh, milestone or whatever. It's yeah. like all the all all the people who are on like dating apps, I guess, are looking for guys that are six foot tall or taller. Okay, so now we go and we look at the statistics. Well, now you've cut out uh, what eighty five percent of the population. No, um, yeah, eighty five percent of the population, right? Um. Wait, can I do math? Is it 75? Can I not do math? My brain is so shot today. Uh, could you know, he's, he's 6'2 as well. Uh, Quinn Comics says he's also left-handed. And just a few points below genius level IQ. Yeah, so I was right. It was 85. I, I got nervous and second-guessed myself. So that cuts out 85% of the population. Then they all also want somebody who is uh, gainfully employed. So you're looking at the the, the section of the population who is yep. uh, wealthy and oh, over six foot, and they have and they have no income, and they want somebody making an over 100k a year. Well, I I just think that the the fir- the fact that they want to eliminate 85 percent of the population to start to even be considered. Yeah. 
That's... And then, then narrow it down to like high income. And then they want to narrow it down to high com- income. Let's look at what percentage of the male population in the United States <laughs> makes. What, what's a good target number? 100,000? Uh, let's say just be a, say 100K. That's what... Yeah, so it's about 100K. Left my bottle of water on the other side. Let's see. All right, seventeen percent of all men earn over a hundred k per year. Eight point four percent of women, uh, men are around uh, two times more likely to earn an annual income of a hundred k or more per year in the U.S. Um, however, so now, now they have fourteen point five percent of the population that um, has to be over six foot and then only 17 percent of the total population uh, makes over 100k per year so it qualifies for their income bracket i'm not sure how much of those two populations overlap but i i think it's probably <laughs> probably less than less than 10 percent Darth, he's at, he's at the five, five six mark, and Quinn said he's also has an incredible ability. It's called common sense. Super rare these days. Hey, <laughs> that is a you, you, you know you can't undervalue how important common sense is. <laughs> I feel you, uh, can do this. Uh, He says uh, I could have been wealthy by bought toys instead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I understand. <laughs> I I could have been wealthy, but I wanted a job that I could live with myself doing. That too. And uh, I'm not saying that there aren't jobs out there like that. It just, you know, wasn't what I happened to be interested in. <laughs> or allows me the kinds of freedoms that my my current career path allows me. Well, I couldn't ask for a better like type of job. I get, I get, I get to be creative and um, their hands off. Let me do what I need to do. They trust that I'm getting my work done and I do get my work done. Yeah. I mean, some people might need to be micromanaged, but uh, yeah. I don't know. That oh, that's... It, oh, it's that's one thing. It's, it gets one nerves though. Like but, and now I'm supposed to, uh, the new group of men, they want me to micromanage. They want a detailed list of everything I do and make a re- record in like a, a, uh, make a, uh, a service ticket for every work, everything I'm asked to do. Which I get asked like by everybody to do stuff. And I spend more time making tickets than doing my work sometimes. Yeah, that's. Which I'm behind making those freaking tickets too. I need to start. <laughs> I need to go through my list. I just, for work that is uh, just busy work, it makes me nuts. <laughs> you know, I, I want my work to have value. And, yeah, uh, just, I, I love my project work you get to work on. Well, the morning, point, paperwork. Uh, do I have um, to? <laughs> the uh, a lot of my work is seen publicly by a lot of people. So it's kind of really cool with the fact that they, uh, it's such a public out, uh, output to my cre- uh, stuff I get to create. I'm going to take a day off so that I can rest, but I think I'm going to uh, get, I'm going to make it my goal for that entire day, which will be. Uh, next Friday, mm-hmm. not this Friday. Next Friday, to get stuff in the mail. Oh yeah, I forgot. I missed it. <laughs> yeah, God. I have so much stuff to mail. Uh, no, I feel bad. Uh, just got the Gary shirt out to him today from the giveaway. 
my, my buddy had a make i had like do the the design and illustrator and stuff like that too then get to my buddy he cut it and had it by a shirt and whatnot like my frustration is that i i mean the place where i live is not very big and so like the office hours for the post office are not convenient and then we got two branches but the branch that is nearest to me the other one's like way uh probably a, you know anyway it's way out there so and then the branch that's nearest to me is like i don't know if they are having staffing issues or if they're what's going on there but they don't it's like half the time you go there and there's nobody there oh i had to go up to a farther away post office to mail my package today because their system was down at the close one no, no, the one that's close to me is really close it's like down below the he- bottom of the hill and across the road yeah but their system was down so i had to go up several miles up the road to the other one next town i i say it's small but i guess that's comparatively to like real cities <laughs> <laughs> This is one of my earliest customs. That I made this for Dom, uh, uh, Hulk Smash Dom, uh-huh. many, many years ago. And he, I think, made him a new Superman figure. And uh, when we did trade back, he, he knows I like really like this one. And he, this is not his preferred look for Zod. Yeah. So he, we did basically a trade back. I got this one. Nice. I mean, doing a few things, fixing it up a little bit, changing the head out. There's more options for heads now. Yeah. I need to find, if see if I can find some tester gray. Sort of match up. Those military painting kits, I think I could have the gray I need. You can still buy those. I took a Frank Castle head and sculpted a goatee onto it. It makes a pretty good Zod head. Yeah, it does. Camera focus. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I think that turned out good. Oh, no. So I want to. To, uh, re-sculpted some parts on it too I'm, I'm, I can sculpt better now than when I did that but I want to sculpt it in a way where it looks similar similar to the time uh, the work I did on it before yeah uh, I hate filling out service tickets when there were so many on IT uh, server issues oh uh, yeah uh uh, Queen Comics, uh, day off. Yeah, I'm just going to take a day off. He takes two off a year. <laughs> Christmas and Thanksgiving. Other than that, we work three, 350 days a year out of 11-hour day, days. Good grief. Thank you very much, Quinn. I, I made that originally whew, probably 15 years ago. When I originally made the figure, whenever the Young Justice figure came out, plus it's got Young Justice parts on it. The lower legs are from Sportsmaster. The leg holsters for are from uh, Red Arrow. What's I don't know, originally when I repaint, I made the head I took used. The original head was a re-sculpted uh, samurai. And I repaint that head so many times. That's when I first started f- painting faces. And every time I was, I think the third time I got it where I was happy with it, it kept looking too friendly. And it was like, no, it leaves me mean looking.
cool to push to on this now. I'm gonna hate when I run out my good flesh tones. Yeah, well, you're gonna have to figure out a new batch, huh? A new formulas. Find something that even works. They, they all look so un every one I've tried looks so unnatural. Well they look spray on tan. Yeah. Now castle uh, castle flesh from Citadel is okay. But um, it's not as nice as working on testers. Testers, you, yeah. it goes, it dries so smooth. There's, um, it's like a barbarian flesh and then like a mummy bones or something like that. I don't, I don't remember. But uh, those two seem to work pretty well together. I don't. I think that I think that was army paints, but I think you said you didn't like army paints for some reason. They chip or something? No, I didn't say that. Maybe that was Harker that said that. Somebody said it. Somebody said it. I remember somebody saying it, but I don't remember who. Well, I think you was Harker. <laughs> he said it. He's not here, so we can say he said it. <laughs> We're just going to throw him under the bus for everything. Yeah. Nah, Harker's awesome. He's a cool dude. There were not enough pepperonis on my pizza when I ordered it. I'm pretty sure that uh, Harker came to town and stole them off from the delivery oh. driver in the sidewalk outside my house. That sounds about right. That sounds like Harker. <laughs> he, is, he is an honorary fella. No, I like him. He's... Oh, yeah. Harker's is cool. I gotta work on uh, annual port templates tomorrow and this weekend. But <laughs> we're going to a from a PDF format to a web format. Mm -hmm. So I gotta work within the uh, the CMS and try to uh, design it. We found like a online one from another university that uh, does online uh, annual reports. Mm -hmm. We're going to make about that and not try to recreate it with the what's the, the tools in, in the, the Adobe CMS we use. We use Adobe Experience Manager. Yeah. I know that my kids' school district uses uh, a lot of the Google stuff. Didn't you say that they were going to charge your university a whole bunch more for that? Oh, yeah. We're, we're moving away from a lot of products away from Google. They're scaling down to from unlimited to five gigs per person. Wonder if wonder if my school districts having kids school districts having to pay a lot for that. I think they're they, they pulled it out from everybody. Like there's no longer free unlimited to the uh, to education, at least higher education. No about anything else. Uh, Quinn Comics that it's called the cheese pizza. <laughs> The please no, pizza. Please put some pizza, toppings no. on it that I paid for. <laughs> uh, have you ever had a wish sandwich? Have two slices of bread and you wish some had some meat between it. Yep. Yeah, uh, the blue, blue blues brothers. Yep. You know what was the other thing? A ricochet biscuit. Bounce off the wall and into your mouth. If yeah. it don't bounce back, you go hungry. Oh, it is. <laughs> that's it well I look Blues Brothers is one of my favorite movies and I have several other CDs yeah it's good if you don't like Blues Brothers I'm sorry something, we can't be friends <laughs> something, something very sad happened in your childhood I 
Let me do a coat of red. It's looking good. So, Don's going to make the cape where it's got wires in it. Or I can, I don't know, mm-hmm. drilling holes. Like on each side of the triangle, hit through here. Yeah. No, that's what. Yeah, that's what he did for mine. But I just, I just cut off the centurion cape and just tucked it up underneath that and glued it, and it worked great. Sentry. What did I? Oh, I said centurion. Yes. Sentry. <laughs> I'm. I mean, I have been up for quite a while. <laughs> I, I understand. Uh, Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday, I was like zombie hit it because Monday I did not sleep. Mm-hmm. Uh, that they ch- where they changed my blood sugar medicine that Jardins, Jardins, mm-hmm. and I quit taking it because I was having to go piss about every half hour. Extreme okay. dry mouth, thirst, and I got looking it up. That side effects of it, which can cause severe dehydration. Because you're like going to the bathroom all the time and uh, sweating profusely too. Oh yeah. I was like, uh, yeah, I can't take this. I gotta sleep. As yeah. soon as you start to get in the REM sleep, I think I go piss. Man. She called in another one today. Let's see if I can try it. No. So far, it's two down. I can't do it. Can't do the metformin. Oh, I can't man. Do the gardens. Yeah. Uh, what are the other ones? Uh, Manjaro, Ozempic. Uh,. Those are, I think those are the popular ones now. Xenomorph Zorok. Repaint and win. What? I don't know. Uh, Zorak? What, Zorak? what are we talking about? Xenomorph Zorak. Repaint and win. I don't know. Well, Xenomorph is like aliens, right? Yeah. Oh, Zorak. Zorak. Yeah. So making an aliens figure into Zorak. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm still not fully recovered from the sleep deprivation. Now Quim come up for the save too. The Zorak is a big bug guy from Space Ghost. Uh, I gotta have a Zorak for Space Ghost to use as uh, use as Zeno. <laughs> well, that's kind of cool artwork. Mm. Moltar would probably be easier to make, though. Oh yeah, I'm sure it would be. <laughs> <laughs> that would be probably just a real easy repaint. I think he's about to use a uh, barbecue from Gadget Plastic. Yeah, uh, or one of those. Uh, don't the uh, AIM agents? Aren't, is it the AIM agents in the yellow outfits? Oh, yeah. The, I got one of those heads sitting over here. Don't, don't they have one a head kind of like that? Yeah, I got the beekeeper head. Uh huh. Yeah. Space goes coast to coast as a riot. And Randy Savage, uh, Space Ghost, the grandfather. <laughs> Space Ghost.
Oh, it's looking a little bit better on the back of the head. It's not so. Like, this is too uniform. This is looking a lot better down here. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good, dude. I need to get your, your shirt in the mail, too. Uh, yeah. Don't, don't worry about rushing it, because I've been needing the mail stuff for, like, forever. <laughs> you know? <sighs> I just... I was not... I was not prepared for this year when my kids decided to all join in stuff at the same time. We're making it. Making the way in the run of the day with everything we yeah. got. Uh, oh, I got the Mayfix Catwoman in the mail today. Oh, how's it, how's it? I don't know. I haven't opened it yet. I got I got home, and that's when I got the text about the dogs being out. And then I ran over there and took care of the dogs, and then I came back and got on the live stream. <laughs> sitting here in a box beside my desk. Yeah, we're at that time. Uh, Sunday, I could not make people admin. Uh, I mean, not admin, uh, moderators in the chat. Oh, yeah? You can now? Yep. Something was going on with YouTube. Rack. Aku Genos has been pretty regular here. I made him. You are now a mod, my friend. Try to do that Sunday. Let's see. What body would you use to make Brack? You'd have to be somebody short. Hmm. The head's definitely going to be have to be like pretty much full, full custom made. Maybe that new Toad figure. A newer toad. I can see that. Is he shorter? Yeah. The, that figure is also frustrating. That they, I didn't get it because mm -hmm. they cheaped out on they on the arms. They, everything is all new sculpting except for the arms. The arms do not match anything else on the body. Ah, uh, really? The it's all new body. Then they use these pizza spidey arms. So you got pinless legs, nicely sculpted everything. Everything looks like it's wearing fabric. Then you get to the arms. They're pizza spidey arms. Then they were charging a premium where it's the 20th anniversary of Marvel Legends figure. Like nope. It was on sale recently too, and I didn't get it because I still don't like it. Yeah, it's got those big old divots in the. <clears throat> it took all that time, cooled everything on that figure new except for the arms. Uh, we ran out of budget, but sculpted in line just puts pizza, pizza buddy arm on it. I don't uh, like 
sometimes I don't understand what uh, happens with like sometimes you see the joints like this and they're round mm -hmm. like that and sometimes they're flat I don't know if that's just the way they design it specifically for each of those things or if there's I, I don't know enough about the actual production process yeah I have questions. They will not answer. I, yeah. It, it, it's about tooling. You know who will answer? Uh, the Four Horsemen guys. Mm hmm. I emailed them uh, a while back about some questions that I had, and, uh, and they, they answered them to my satisfaction. That's cool. I, I was very, I was very pleased. A very seem, good experience. They seem like nice guys. Yeah. I uh, emailed back and forth with them for a while after that about the same subject. Oh. Cool. And then I stopped because <laughs> I got busy. <laughs> like how rude! He's never emailed us back. <laughs> Oh, I always responded. I just didn't, you know. I'm just kidding. It's like we, we got to the end of the conversation. And I was like, ah, that was cool. That's good. Good to know a lot of that stuff. I well, bet Ace would probably be, in, be willing to talk about stuff like that, too. Yeah. It'd be interesting to uh, have somebody on sometime. Uh, I don't know if you know any of the, the people who have done the Kickstarters, mm -hmm. action figure things. It'd be interesting to ha kind of have them walk through the process of how that's done. Uh, yeah, that, would, that would be cool. So that if somebody is interested in doing it, you know, knowing how to do it is probably a big uh, stumbling stone for people to. From my understanding, the Four Horsemen, they helped uh, the guy doing the Legendary, uh, Legendary, with the Legendary with an I, I don't why. I didn't say pronounce whatever you want to say. But anyway. Ari, I don't know. Um, they helped him out a lot. They, they, I think they actually sculpt, sculpted the figures. He went through them and contracted or helped with designs or something or other. Yeah. They, they help out some way. I believe it. But when I see them, they, they, their construction looks very uh, Mythic Legion's like. Yeah. Older, I pre ordered the guy with the big uh, like Reaper cape with the red inside. Oh, yeah. I like the look of that one. I got ordered through Big Bad Toy Store. Cool. Uh, use Expector Cyclops, and you can uh, save some money by some painting. Hmm. Yeah. Is he talking about for making brick? Probably, yeah. Uh, use a uh, kid Spider Man body, that's pretty small. The uh, this, uh, where's it at? It's all on my desk here somewhere. The Amazing Spider-Man body is small too. The no, not Amazing Spider-Man. The first parent Spider-Man body they use for Kid Omega. He's smaller. And very articulated. I saw somebody making using this to make a updated uh, Nightcrawler. Do those are those boot parts slip-ons and with regular calves underneath them? Or are they? Oh yeah, these are slip-ons. These are from the. Uh, Monet figure. The okay. female figure. I, like, I, I don't. I, they fit this figure. This is how. That's how slim this body is. Weird. I took the female, uh, the armor off a female body and was able to fit it on here. I don't. I'd have to cut those weird knobs off. All these things. Yeah. I just took them on here to see if they fit. It actually did fit. I, I mean, it looks it looks cool that they fit. I would. Just, if I were going to do a custom with them. <laughs> I had to cut the knobs off. Yeah, the knobs are kind of weird.
Yeah, I think uh, as soon as I got to, took that kit, uh, I only bought the Kid Omega to finish the build of the figure because I have no connection to that character. And it's the one that, man, even if it did, I would be disappointed with that body because his most, uh, from my understanding, his most iconic look is his school uniform look. I don't, I'm not familiar with that character at all. Same here. Other than I know that he wears a school uniform, kind of like, like Angus Young, we would do when he performed this, this ACDC. Kind of like that guy from the Umbrella Academy, the time traveler guy, Grandpa. Yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah. Whatever his name was. It'd be cool if they stuck to the comic more for that show. Yeah, it doesn't really resemble the comic. <laughs> That happens a lot. Everybody wants to put their mark on things. The only reason One Piece worked out well is the, the actual original creator didn't let them do whatever they wanted. He had the contract written where he's got final say. That's why they didn't screw it up. So there's some, some weird casting. There's some weird casting in One Piece? Yeah, the, the, the girls playing the boy. I won't. Uh, I won't be watching that show. I. I'm not. I mean, I, there are a lot of people who like One Piece, and my kids like One Piece. But the biggest thing I hated about One Piece, yes, though, so much shit. It, it drove me nuts. The fact spoilers for anybody who hasn't watched One Piece. You don't want, haven't watched it, and I'm going to tell you right now. They revealed that uh, uh, Vice Admiral Car Garp is Luffy's grandfather immediately. It, it was years and years and years in the comics and the years of them being pirates for even his crew found out that Garp is his grandfather. And they kept bringing it up. It was like... Ham hammering away at it, huh? Yeah, it was like... In case you didn't catch this. It's like, seriously? That was like the the entire crew was shocked when they found out he was Luffy's granddad. That'd be like watching the original trilogy <laughs> and find, finding out <laughs> in A New Hope <laughs> that Darth Vader was Luke Skywalker's father. Yeah, and they tell you in the, uh, the first few minutes. Uh, uh, that would be the equivalent to having Obi-Wan tell him, yeah, your dad... Turns the dark side, he's now he's Darth Vader. And uh, by the way, we should go kill him. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta let the story play out. It had a, they had a big budget for the show, but to me, it felt like, uh, you know, from the 90s, you had like Legend, Hercules, Legendary Hero, or whatever, Ventures mm -hmm. on Hercules, Xena Warrior Princess stuff. It has that feel to it. Doesn't. Got that cheese factor to it. Kind of campy. Yep. I mean, for some things, that's okay. I mean, I don't know how you could do that show and not have it be campy. Yeah, and they and they uh, compressed several se uh, seasons of story down into a couple episodes because the cart the the anime is so campy. Oh yeah, it's very campy. And it's hard to do people with stretchy powers to look good in live action. I agree. <laughs> I haven't seen it done yet. Uh, you won't be seeing it really good in that one either. <laughs> it's because I won't be watching it. <laughs> it's been okay. But... 
I I just uh, I mean there's a lot there's so many things that to consider when because it's got to be done in 3D animation stuff and there are so many things that you have to take into consideration and a lot of it as long as you have your you know environments set up it'll take care of that but I just don't when they did that Rapunzel movie they struggled to figure out hair They went, the animators were struggling so much with it. They even went like, "Can we like make her hair short after she gets out of the tower?" <laughs> it's like, no. Which is, you know, hair sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's time consuming. It's difficult. It's tedious. It's. I mean, it looks great when you do it right and you get it done, but the process of making it happen is. It's particular. You know, you got to do it right, otherwise, you'll know yeah, that doesn't look right. Uh, name of Hell, uh, they, they should make a Pirates uh, the Dark Water show and finish it. I'd be glad if they just huh? brought, brought the animated shit series. And they can do the, and if it's cost effective, do a nice CG version of it. That's what they're going, doing with Dragon Ball when they bring it. You know, with that last movie, Dragon Ball uh, Super Superhero. They switch to CG instead of cell animation. It's faster and um, cheaper than hand drawn animation now. Oh yeah, it is. You got to watch it though. Sometimes they'll they'll hit it with they'll have like AI do a lot of it, and then you get weird stuff. Like I've, I've seen a show. I don't remember what the name of it was, but it was like. It was like they had AI do it. Like they did the character drawings and stuff like that and then programmed it in and then just like the hands were weird and sometimes and like one scene the lady had like two belly buttons or something. <laughs> uh, could you know uh, the Fantastic Four movie a George Corman movie did uh, did not make uh, do stretchy powers great but it was not as bad as the re-released FF movies. Uh, the ones from the 80s? Uh, is it the Fox? The early Fox movies with uh, uh, Ben Graham when we wore the, the suit instead of being CG? I guess that's one. <laughs> got to disable that. But... I hate that news bar down at the bottom of your window that as soon as my mouse like gets close to it, it pops up a giant window with like uh, windows this one. On mine? No, on mine. Oh, I was like, I don't. I need to disable that because just the mouse cursor just gets close to it, and that's where the chat's at, and it pops that damn thing up. Yeah. like Parker's nap took longer than he anticipated. <laughs> yep. We're we're at, we're actually past the two hour mark. I don't think I'm about to recall tonight. Yeah, I feel that. I I feel like I made some good progress on this hair, though. Yeah. I, dude, it looks great. So it's got some there. More. You can tell where I need to work on it some more, but it's going along nicely. The hair in the back's looking a little bit more natural. Mm hmm. Uh, story wise, uh, that was the best FF movie. Roger uh, Corman won. I don't, I'm not familiar with that one. Yeah, they towed off of Fantastic Four story instead of a Hollywood story. Well, that makes sense. Makes sense being better then. Alrighty, guys. 
uh, I think we're going to call it night tonight, and I'm pretty tired. I am pretty tired myself. Everyone in the chat, thank you for coming to hang out with us tonight. Uh, tomorrow we got Collector Fusion. We're going to be doing an unboxing of the Snake Mountain. And, uh, we'll be t and some more toy news. I think I, I'll, I'll probably go ahead and open the the Point Dread Talon Fighter as well. I got that sitting over next to the Snake Mountain. Should be a good show tomorrow, tomorrow night. Let's see. Uh, I'm taking on this head probably one or two more sessions and it should be done. Cool, cool. I'm, I'm cool. probably two. I'm, I'm hoping only two. Uh, we got the on uh, Geek Fusion TV. The, there's the Weekend Geek that's every Saturday. And then on Sunday, we'll be, be back possibly with more, more than just the two of us. <laughs> Ugh. But everybody coming out, th hanging out. Thank you again. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for having me on again. I always a pleasure, my friend. All right, you all take care, and we'll see y'all next time. Bye bye. Bye.